My name is Mrs. Jacob, and I'm an ESOL teacher. My husband was from the Spanish culture. His mother um, is Mexican Indian, and they always spoke Spanish at home. So I loved hearing the Spanish language, and since I thought I was going to marry him, I decided I wanted to start studying Spanish, um, and I made that my degree to be a Spanish teacher. And so what I did was I did some substitute teaching in here in the area and I realized I'm not old enough to be a teacher. So I decided to venture into another career. I became an office manager and I stayed in the car industry for probably about eight to ten years. And then I had my children. I stayed home. And uh, when my children were finally in school, I decided it was time to maybe go back to work. And I started um, working right here at Lee's Corner as a substitute. And from there, I realized that I could be an ESOL teacher because of all my Spanish education. Uh, I took the classes that I needed to become certified, and I became an ESOL teacher within two years. Because I was aware of how education is not as big a priority for our Latin American countries as it is obviously here in the United States, I knew that. That still holds true today for most of our students that come from Latin America. So it, it, it is very hard to teach students that don't have literacy in their own language. Um, it is basically teaching them as if they were in kindergarten or first grade. And that can be very difficult for students that are anywhere from 16 to 18 years of age because they don't want to be treated that way. They, it's hard for them, and plus it's hard to learn a second language when you don't have literacy in your first. My name is Ahmed, and uh, I'm in Ms. Jacob class. Ms. Jacob is the really super teacher. She's the best. Bueno, hi, my name is Owen. The teacher is awesome. When I came to Chantilly High School, we checked out what my ESOL teachers and she supported me to learn English. And then I think she's a really good teacher.